Well, it's a nice day, so we've taken the opportunity to come into Lincoln, look. So, I'll just turn around like that, where you may or may not see me, to show you where we are. And you'll be able to see, I'm sure you'll be able to see where we are now. Right, I'm going to pop the camera on and we'll just do a steady run round and take one, two photos. I hope you enjoy this uh, little look around historic Lincoln. Um, as I said, I wanted to do this while I had the tractor, and it was a nice day today. Uh, I've got something to do tomorrow. Saturday we're taking the tractor at Rugby, and Sunday is the show. So I thought, well, while it's a nice day, and I don't feel too bad, um, I actually felt better when I was out. <laughs> I had a bit of a steady start, but we felt better when we were out. Anyway, I thought I'd just try and show you around historic Lincoln. Um, I've done this in my car, haven't I? And I thought, well, let's um, do this. You know, so here we are going around the cathedral, as you can see. Nice and steady on the cobblestones, you know. And I'll tell you what the big surprise today for me is. <laughs> to be honest, I was dreading bringing my tractor into Lincoln because I don't even like villages and things. But you know what? It was far easier than my car. And <laughs> I don't know if it's because they, <laughs> they like me on my tractor and not my car. I, I'm, I might be half joking, but I'll tell you what. Coming into Lincoln, I came uh, A46, if anyone wants to watch that route. I came A46 and uh, I came all the way to the cathedral without stopping. Through through sets of traffic lights and a roundabout and I didn't have to stop. That's unheard of. So as you can see we got some nice photos. And I did take one against the cathedral, but it's got a lot of scaffolding and it didn't come out very well at all. So we'll put up with the intro, with the pictures from the intro, right? Or I should say we'll make do with that. But we've got some nice ones there, I'm sure you'll agree. You know, so here we are, having a, a steady plod along the cobblestones around the cathedral on the way out again. And at the end, uh, what I've done, basically, uh, you have to go along this road and you turn right and then I had to go up to the traffic lights and do a left and another left to come into Balegate. So uh, what I've done is I've just um, taken the start of the video of where we're going and the end of the video. As you can see it's a lovely day and there are a lot of people about but it was the friendliness that I was shown. This is the thing I didn't have any problem you know the, the bus driver the tour bus driver was happy with me the, and a little bit later in a few moments you'll see when I get in Castle Square there's another um, bus driver there was very happy and friendly with me everyone was you know that's what's made it so pleasant. And like I said, I didn't look forward to driving around town. Right, so I'll just talk you through this little bit because it's nice. I did meet someone just perfectly. Right, this is Belgate Arch and it's the only Roman arch that you can drive through. So it's quite special. And so I, I took my tractor through, as you see, I've been through in my car, I've shown you this in my car, but here we are entering Belgate. So here we are going under the arch and I, I parked up here and I met a chap who was interested in my tractor we had a chat and he held my camera for me I've got a nice picture there look and he held the camera so I've got a shot of me driving under the arch now isn't that nice so I'm very pleased with that so we set off again and I'm going to now show you through the bale 
as we call it, Bellgate. As I said, you've seen this in my car, but I thought it would be quite, you know, it, it would be good, wouldn't it? To do it on a classic tractor would be nice. And I'm pleased to have done, very pleased to have done. So what we're doing here, we're going back and uh, the cathedral now is in front of us, right? On the left hand side at the end of this road and the castle is on the right hand side. And in a moment, as I said, it's uh, they did this um, this cobblestone, they did it, but it's pretty rough even in a car. And on a tractor with no suspension, you could steady, right? But everybody, as I say, everybody was happy with me and getting out the way, waving, and you know, it's all been very, very pleasant. There's the castle in front, you can just see it. That's what we were waiting for. So we go along here, and what I'm actually doing is, I'm actually driving around the castle. So, to, to go on the road, what I have to do, in, instead of going straight on, because you can't go straight on, where I've just turned right, what I'm actually doing is driving now completely around the castle. So we come in um, on the, from, into the same thing, into Castle Square, but from a different direction. And as you can see, it's all looking nice and pretty, so I'm, I'm showing you all this because I think that one or two will be interested in seeing it. You know, I've shown you it in my car a few times and that, but, uh, well, I'm finding it interesting and I've done it, right? That's what I'm trying to say. You know, even though I've done it, I'm finding it quite inter interesting. So what I did, and I'll just tell you now, because at the end, um, you'll see what, what happens towards the end. So we turn left here. And on the left, just on the left, it, it's in my Christmas market videos, this is actually. But just in the left is, is the west entrance to the castle, which is fairly new, right? It was fairly recent. Um, because they, they reopened the gate, they, they redid the whole thing. And uh, so we're going down here, as I say, and you can see there's some uh, steady bits to stop you turning about, like the usual thing. But it's only a short little road. And uh, as I said, I was, I didn't have any problems at all with anyone, not in the cars or anything. We did pull over here to let a car go past, you see. But uh, it's only short. Now there's a. <laughs> Um, just at the end, and you won't see much of it, but it is quite high up and it looks out across Lincoln. So um, if I was to, at the bottom of this road, I haven't done, I turned left, but if I turned right, uh, you can actually see a long way and there's like a nice panoramic of Lincoln. And you may, I'm not sure how much of it you'll see, but you may see a tiny bit through those houses over the fence, just a tiny bit. Anyway, so we've got left here, and this is top of Spring Hill. If anybody has said, if you're interested where it is, you know, that's the top of Spring Hill. So if you ever want to look on a map to find out where we are, that's it. So now we're just uh, driving steadily up here, and like I said, I was you know, I thought, oh, it might be a problem, and one thing, no, it wasn't a problem whatsoever. In fact, it's a lot nicer driving my tractor around Lincoln than it is going in my car. I think I might have mentioned that once. I might mention it twice. I could even say it three times, <laughs> because it's been good. And you see that chap, he let his, uh, his daughter come out, and he put his hand up to me going past, look. You see, everybody was, as I say, very happy and friendly. So here we are arriving in Castle Square, and as you can see, 
As you can see, the warp and ride bus, he was happy with me. Which way are you going? Where are you going? No one. There was no traffic warnings coming up. So, oh, you can't stop there, blah, blah. Now, everyone was very happy and friendly to see me. Not a problem in the world. It was nice. It makes such a nice change. It really did. So, we just turned around here. And I have got one or two pictures I've put in now. And uh, so we just back up here and stop. There we are. Right, so having had a nice little time and got my photos, as you've seen, uh, we set off back down here again. And what I've done is I've just uh, taken you a little way down here because you've seen it all. And then I've taken you down Burton Road. Now, um, just over the traffic light down here on the left hand side is the Museum of Lincolnshire Life. And I was thinking it's another landmark, you know, and I was thinking of uh, putting my tractor on the front and taking a photograph. However, it's a bit of a plain building and there were some cars there, so I didn't bother. So as I was enjoying myself, I thought, oh, well, I'm, you know, I've had a, a good day so far. I think I'll carry on and go a different way back. So, as I was, um, I carried on down, uh, this is Burton Road, by the way, just in case anybody wants to look again. And that's the Museum of Lincolnshire Life on your left now. So, I've shown you a little bit of this, of how nice it is driving around Lincoln. You know, it didn't, it wasn't the problem, because I don't like going through villages on it. As I said, I've told you once or twice already now. I don't mind how many times I told you. And, uh, so we'll go down here. As I say, I've shown you this little bit of driving in town. And here's, here's a good example, look. There's two cars coming and a car on the left. And instead of in your car, you've got to stop and then wait and go, look, you just slow up and then pull out and carry on. It really was, it was, it was quite easy, you know. So that's just um, one example, right? So I get to the bottom here, and I go across the roundabout, and I thought, oh, I wonder if my friend's in. Well, I got to his house and he wasn't, phoned up, and he was just coming home. He was there within, you know, three minutes later. So he came and had a look at the tractor, which he has seen it before. Anyway, he had a go on it. By the way, that's the old barracks on the right-hand side. I've left that bit in just to show you this, uh, little bit. This is Burton Road, but it's the other side of the roundabout. It's, it's a long road, but you've got a town side and a countryside, if you like. So I've just shown you that little bit, going past the barracks, because it's looking all looking quite pretty, isn't it? The whole thing is. And uh, so I've just shown you that little bit, and we turn in this road, stop at the house. Well, he had to go on my tractor, so I've got a little tiny bit of video of him on my tractor. And then just to finish off, um, when I got back, Tom had a little drive on it, and I've got a couple of clips of video of him driving it. So, um, I think that's, uh, I can honestly say, we've had a good day. I hope you've enjoyed it, and uh, we'll hopefully see you in the show, uh, in, at the show, I should say. We'll see you at the show in a couple of days' time.